abantu benshi baba Kristo ntibazi gutandukanya ibigeragezo biva kuri Satani ibiva ku mana kugira ngo ibatoze nibiva ku miterere yabo Many people do not know how to differentiate the trials coming from the devil from God and also from their behaviors Iyo imana yahisemo kugerageza kugira ngo igutoze nubwo washaka abahanuzi bose bo kwisi nta kizahinduka when God is training you and testing you for you to be his servant, even if you look for prophets, nothing will change. Rimwe na rimwe hari ubwo bavuga ati muze tubirukane hi mikoshi ni mikasiro na karande kumbe Imana ishaka kugutoza kugira ngo uhinduke. Sometimes they will call you they saying let us cast down those curses and all the generational curses, but God is actually training you. Nabwo Imana yaguha icubahiro itaraguhaye ukuza itaragutoje ukuzabyitwara mu wavudukandagira. God cannot give you honor if he hasn't trained you because you might stamp on people. Ntabwo Imana yaguha amafaranga itaraguhaye ubutware bwo gutegeka amafaranga wahavuyaramya. God cannot give you money without training you how to maintain it because you might worship money. Dimwe na rimwe Imana iducisha ahantu idutoreza kugira ngo tuzave mu bakozi b'Imana beza. Sometimes God trains us so that we can become good servants of him. Natanga urugero reba Imana itoranyije uh, Petero umurobyi hanyuma ikazamuhindura mwo uro babantu Let me give you an example of when Jesus chooses Peter the fisherman and he says he's going to be a fisher of men Kamere ya Petero uroba na kamere na kamere ya Petero uzana abantu kuri Yesu bona ari kamere zitandukanye The nature of Peter the fisherman and also Peter the fisher of men is very different uh, Weme we gutozwa have you accepted to be trained? Will you be will you endure wherever God is making you pass through for you to become a good servant of His? After training you, He calls you so that you can serve with Him. Being chosen by God is something very great. Ico gihe uhinduka umufatanya bikogo. You become a partner. Uh, Paulo yaravuze ngo ubwo dukorana nayo turabinginga kugira ngo mudahege ubuntu bw'Imana gupfubusa. Paul said because we work with God we are begging you not to dis to disregard grace. Uh, mwibuke ko habaho gukoreshwa nayo no gukorana nayo. There's a difference between being used by him and also being used with him. Haravani mani koresha, ngaba kozi njene umunuwe sushwara kumu koresha mu vinu biyawe, ari kumufata nyabi kogu wa mwamu fita masezana mga singi. You can have a worker and all that, that's what God also does. But if a person is a partner, that means you have promises and contracts that have been signed. Remember, we're learning on the value and the goodness that we receive from uh, serving God. The person I just read is the one who's supposed to serve God. Uh, serving God well brings value. Uh, ikintu wakora ukazarindupfa uticuza mu buzima bwawe no gukorera imana byonyine The only thing you will do and you will die without regretting is serving God Ibindi bintu byose ukora ni byiza bizarangiriraho ariko iyo ukorera imana usiga umurage witeka All other things you do is also good but it ends it has an ending but serving God you live a heritage Hari umuntu yakore imana neza nshaka gutanga aho rugero agira gaciro kiteka ryose There's a person who served God well and he had a value Daniel when he was in Babylon. Babylon They went to Babylon when he was 16. I really love Daniel. He was built well inside. They, he found Babylon, they used to pray to other gods. And he said that he will not and makes it himself unclean with the food from the palace. Uh, the way he planned it in his heart, God supported him. Uh, For you right now, you would have found it as a big luck to go share with the king. But he knew that praying to idols was a sin. Uh, so he talked to his heart to never unclean himself. Make himself unclean. What is uh, surprising? Uh, after when, after ten days when they came to test other students, they found he was 
better than them 10 times he was wiser 10 times hari ubwo umuntu yiyandurisha nibitagira umumaro ntibigizagira n'ico bimumarira sometimes people make themselves unclean with things that have no value none se ko wafasha ubusore bwa ukabukoresha mu buryo bubi ubuse wungutsike if you took your youth and you used it wrongly what have you gained hanyuma se ubarijije umuntu udakorera imana yakubwira ko yungutsike and if you ask a person who doesn't serve God, what will he tell you that he has gained? Gukorera imana bizana gaciro kandi bizana ibyiza mu buzima bwacu. Serving God brings value in our lives and also goodness. Bibiliya yatubwiye ngo umuntu nankorera nkurikire kuko aho ndu mukozi wange ari hazaba kandi umuntu nankorera data azamuha icubahiro. The word of God told us that if anyone serves me he must follow me and where I am there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me the Father will honor him. Daniel yabayeho kubami bane. Daniel lived for four kingdoms. I will not say his history. But Daniel prayed until his people came out of slavery. God visited him and said, Oh, beloved. He showed him even today things are not yet fulfilled after a long year. Years. Some kings were confused. And they would say, look for a person with the spirit of the Lord. Who can tell us these mysteries. He had great value. Uh, Let me go back a little bit. People who were sharing with the king the food that was put in front of the idols, they felt happy. And Daniel was drinking water, eating vegetables and beans. There's a day the king dreamt and nobody could translate his dreams. I want to talk about the value and goodness that comes from serving God. The people who have eaten the government's budget by studying the magic and everything, let them come translate these dreams. And the truth is, they couldn't interpret these dreams. The king was like, the, there are no jokes here. Everybody who has eaten on the food from the kingdom has to die if they don't translate uh, this. They brought Daniel so I can die with the rest. But they were mistaken. They studied together, but they did not eat together. He knew that that was not his time for him to eat. He asked time to pray. God helped him and interpreted all the dreams. That day he lived, he survived, and he also helped his friends. What is surprising, God gave him value and he honored him. He promoted him and made him the third person in a hundred countries. Some people eat when it's not the right time to eat. God just gave you little money, you're already dodging his house. You started advancing in life and you're starting to drink alcohol. God wants you to go farther, but you're already starting to despise other people. You already giving God a little value, when, where will you go? Where will you reach? Uh, God gave Daniel value and the goodness of serving God. Uh, there are other many people we cannot talk about like Esther. Esther is still remembered today because she stood in the gap for the Israelites and the Jews when they were going to be dead. You should live a life thinking about what you can do for God and you'll be remembered for it. We cannot talk about David and David go through it. 
God removed David from being a shepherd. And he protected him in Saul's hands. One day he sat and he thought about something he can do for God. He was like, it's not possible that I live in a very good palace when the, uh, the ark of the Lord is in a tent. When he was just thinking about it, God sent a prophet. A prophet. God said, oh David, you just surprised me. Just the other day, I took you from the shepherd. But the Israelites that I removed from Egypt, they would put me in a tent until it's old and they'll put me in another one. No, no, no. But you have thought of building me a house. You will, your sons will always go after your throne. The throne is yours and this place is yours. You will never be a refugee. I'm promising you and having a covenant of, of mercy that endures forever. Jesus came before he actually came because mercy is Jesus. Uh, Amen. If there's a respected person in Israel today, it's David. Even his, uh, his tomb is also protected. Because God swore a covenant of mercy that endures forever. Jesus also comes from the David lineage. Serving God well brings value and brings blessings. Uh, where should a person serve God from? the best uh, work or service we should do is bringing other people to Christ it's a very surprising that a Christian can spend a whole year without bringing another person to Christ we know where the prostitutes are we know where the alcoholists are we know where the drug addicts are. Some are our cousins, others are in our classes. If you're not being, bringing other people to Christ, you're losing. You should proclaim the good news and bring other people to Christ. Another mission God told us to do is helping those who are needy. The Bible says, I was hungry and you fed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was in prison and you visited me. I was thirsty and you quenched my thirst. I was a visitor and you gave me a home. Whoever you did that for, you were doing it for me. So don't we know where the hospitals are at? We don't know where the prisons are at. Or can we say we don't know where the street <laughs> kids are at? Or we don't know where the naked people are? The list of you that you are doing good for, you're doing it for Christ. Another thing that we should do as we serve God is living a life that glorifies God in our daily life. If you are a good soldier wherever you are, you're serving God. If you're a good police, you're serving God. If you're a good engineer, you're being a servant If you're a faithful businessman, you're also serving God. If you're a good neighbor to your neighbor, you're serving God. Some people think service to God is just singing in front on the altar, but service to God is our daily life. Another mission is supporting those who are preaching the good news. God cannot make all people 
preachers support those who preach the gospel. Uh, the singer said, sang, even if you cannot be a preacher like uh, Paul, testify the what God has done for you and also lead others to the way uh, of heaven. Support the hands of men of God. Uh, you will have served God. We cannot have a, we cannot not have the service to God. We should have big hearts. You cannot say you don't know how to work for God. God has given us all the choices to serve Him. Uh, I want to talk about the barriers of serving God. Uh, the first one is people do not want to change their nature. Uh, God cannot use you when you haven't changed your human nature because you can embarrass him. him. If you want to serve God, put strength in changing. What honors God and glorifies God is your testimony more than your words. Another border that of service to God is complaints. God removed the, the Israelites from Egypt, but many people stayed in the desert because they wanted to go back. They have worldly complaints in them. They're always fighting with the speed of life. I have a bad news for you. You will leave the earth when it's still good. They will have things that are on trend. You will grow old, but the world will always be new. And if you do not do what you were called, created for, what will you say in front of God? The Bible said, do not love the world and what is in the world. What what that will make what will make you wealthy is that you have a heart of serving God and God will give you blessings. Another border or barrier to serving God is the fear of life. And you feel like if you give, you'll become poor. Because we lived in a life of poverty, uh, you're not sure that tomorrow you're going to eat. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and you want everything to be yours because you're not sure tomorrow is going to be possible. Fear is bad. Whatever you're fearing is going to happen to <inaudible> you. And what you have faith for is going to happen <inaudible> to <inaudible> you. If it was me, I would choose faith. Another hindrance of serving God is not being trained. Were you blessed enough to be trained for serving uh, to God? Did anybody know the gift that you have so that it can be trained? Another barrier of serving God is not knowing what you were created for. We were created to service, to serve the kingdom of God. We were created to serve God. Another hindrance of serving God is culture. Uh, if a person wasn't born around an environment that tells him link the word of God to your daily <laughs> life, it's <laughs> not <laughs> easy for you. There are countries that have people who do not lie yet they're not Christians. The people, countries that give themselves and they're like go help African countries they get godly principles and they link it to their daily lives and God really blesses them let me remind you that 
The word of God has principles. Uh, and when you get these principles and you link them to your life, there will uh, be a change. Tizi, ya nyuma, jeho, the last hindrance I'm going to talk about is not knowing your calling. Este, wigeze, Do you know your calling? We were called to serve God. We were called to serve in the kingdom of God. We were called to do what the Lord wants. It would be very nice knowing your calling. And we also serve God. We were talking about a theme that says the value and the goodness we receive from working for God. The word just said that if anyone serves me, he must follow me. Because where I am, there my servant will also be. And if anyone serves me, God will honor him. Let me remind you that the only thing you'll do and you'll die without regretting is serving God. In heaven, they will not ask you how many houses did you build. They will not ask you how many kids you get birth to. They will ask you, when you were on earth, did you know what you were called for and did you do it? They will ask you, the wealth that was given to you, what did you do in the kingdom of God? Support men of God. Support calling. Support that the kingdom of God and the will of God comes down. At your workplace, make sure that the presence of the Lord comes down. Do not support alcoholics in your area that you live in. But build an altar of prayer. Serve so that there is a good transformation in every area you live in. Use your wealth with building churches and also serve servants There is no goodness that God would withhold from you. I want to pray for you so that you can have a big heart so God can fit in and also other people can fit in. There is nothing that God has withheld from us. It's just that our hearts are not open enough. What, what you can do and you will die without regretting is service to God. I God told David, I'll give you a name that will never be removed or perish. And Jesus also comes from David's generation. We will all leave this earth. We have no choice. What will we remember? Let me tell you the truth. There are people I sometimes ask myself, if this person died, what would I say? Well, did he help the poor? Did he support the kingdom of God? We have people who do not kill anything or save anything. The years are not stopping. Let us serve God. Let us leave a testimony that people will Dorcas did not come back to life because of tears but because of his, her good works. Cornelius was told prayer that is also with grace has been a remembrance to God. Abraham spent many years reminding God, you told me you're going to give me a son. And he would tell him, go count the stars. Do you think counting the stars is a response? And when he feels tempted again, he would tell God, and God would tell him, go count the stars. Is that a response? But when he gave the angels a cow, and he gave them bread and milk, God told him, next year, like this time, you'll have a son. There are people who do not know how to live. 
they don't know how to link the word of God with, his, with their lives and they will count the stars for the rest of their lives. When we do not know the goodness and value of serving God, there are promises that will not be fulfilled. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, help us to know the value of serving you. The word just said that if a person serves me, he must follow me. Where I am, there my servant will also be. If a person serves me, the Father will honor him. Let everybody who is following your word that their lives be transformed. Let us know why you created us and help us to fulfill it. There is nothing that you have withheld from us, O God. Let us serve you so that your kingdom can be. Everybody should take part of this. Be bless the pastors and bless those who serve you. May your power be with those who love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.